Hello and welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where the biggest stories live. And of course, we have interesting conversation around entertainment and bring you interesting personalities also. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I'm here with Chika Nwewu and Ife Oluwa Oshankaye. Hey guys. What's up? How are you doing? You looking I'm radiant. Great. Thank you. you thank, thank you. Thank you, Ife. You look, you look dashing too. Yeah. Always, Such a handsome always, young always, man. Always, young handsome man. Always. Man, you know, handsome man. I'm a proud and some young man. <laughs> you know, Ife is going to be proud all through this show. <laughs> no, no, I, I, I need don't to, compliment I need, to, I need to give him like some ego boost so that he, you know. He has enough. He's no, overflowing. I want him to be on his best behavior on today's show. Oh, am I not always on my mm. best Sometimes you're not. Sometimes, sometimes you're not. We all know that you're not. That's that's what makes it fun. Like, you can't be on your best behavior sometimes, man. Worst behavior. Mm. Okay. I'm on my worst. Okay. It said Jake's on right there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, real quick before we introduce our guest, yeah. um, the suicide case that happened over the weekend, we've yeah. not been able to talk about it, and I think we should touch on it. Pele Pele, that's yeah. his name, right? Yeah. I think he said he's been in music for 10 over years. Over 10 years. Yeah. Over 10 years. And he just had enough. Yeah, um, yeah, this is someone that was affiliated to the um, great Olamide. I well, call him great because um, he's helped a lot of people mm -hmm. boost their career. We have people like Adekule Go doing very great things, you know, putting the um, putting Africa on the map out yeah, there. And too. we have Liu mm -hmm. Cash, we have um, Skibi. We have um, Chinko Ekun one time. Fireboy, Chinko Ekun, and all those people, mm -hmm. all those people who are prodigies of Olamide, mm -hmm. and then suddenly they're big. And then this is one artist that was also under the record label YBNL. And um, it didn't happen to blow like it every didn't happen other for him. Yeah, it didn't happen for him. Like, But I think at the end of the day, God's time is the best. <laughs> Do you understand? Yeah, that's, so regardless where's, where's of how you want now? to. He, okay, he didn't wait for the yeah, time. Yeah, he didn't yeah. wait for the right time because mm -hmm. I think um, even the free, he did a freestyle video before he committed suicide, mm -hmm. right? He did a freestyle video and the freestyle video was so good and I felt oh. like if he had just left that, yeah. probably someone would Push have discovered him and all that. But it's so sad that he felt so depressed. He released a, um, a video saying he was depressed like a week before his suicide. Yeah, I think but I no one took him video. seriously. Everybody yeah. was just like, uh, it's just another artist but, trying but, to pull it. But to be honest, they, uh, the person that recorded that video, I, I, I don't. When I watched the video, at least I watched it to the end, where he said, "Bro, stop the video, stop." And he, when he brought out the, um, the, um, what he wanted to use to commit suicide, mm -hmm. when he said, "Okay, this is what I, I've already bought this, and I'm going to wait, take wait, it." He this. recorded himself committing yeah. suicide. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. A week okay. before, he started with, "I'm depressed, I'm yeah, suicidal." Then mm -hmm. at the, at the end, and he talked about how it has been depressing for him in the music. Um, scene, and mm -hmm. when he had the biggest platform that he could have ever gotten in his life, which is YBNO, and he wasn't able to blow via that. And he's mm -hmm. saying, I don't know, I gave myself 10 years, and if after 10 years I'm not able to make it, then, I mean, maybe this is not my calling, and I don't know what my calling is, so maybe I should just kill myself. Then when he gets, got to maybe at, uh, maybe at the ninth minute, then he brought out, like, the weapon of um, suicide, what he was going to use to kill himself. And he told the person recording the video, like, bro, stop the video. Bro, this is not a joking matter. I'm going to kill myself. Bro, stop the video. Stop the video. Then, because I, I thought maybe he maybe put a, you know, a stand to take, a tripod stand to take the video. Maybe, mm -hmm. but there was somebody else there. So if there was somebody else there that was taking that video for you and saw that you had very huge and suicidal tendencies, mm -hmm. then help should have been gotten somewhere yeah, or but somehow. You know, we, we've also talked about it on this show where we talk about how we are really unaware and in fact those who think they are aware don't really understand what um, how mental health issues work. It is mm -hmm. very tricky and most of us don't understand it. It's a case of ah, you are sad guy, you go make her now, calm down. You True. don't know how far gone this person is because yeah. it's not like malaria or fever that you say you touch the body and like ah, this body's <laughs> horse let's rush to the hospital you'll yeah. be fine you look good right but you, you know the crazy the thing about the story form. is that um he didn't even commit suicide in his own house yeah went to his friend's house to kill himself and that guy was arrested, arrested. and all of that so imagine this is a case a proper case of akoba adaba do you understand <laughs> do you understand because at the end of the day you don't even know who is the press that you're harboring mm. in your, your home house, and all yeah. of that and then at the end of the day you get involved one way or another. But this guy had like a whole lot of support and people mm -hmm. came together and they got him out of jail. So on that note, I just think we should have a one minute silence for Pele Pele, even though he took his life, but he's still dead. So one minute silence.
Okay, I think that's 40 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but um, I would just like to say that I think individually we should try to read up on uh, mental health yeah. issues. Yeah. Find out, even if it's not just for you, how to help a friend, what to say, how to say it, mm -hmm. um, how to convince them to see a doctor. Because yeah. right here, once you tell them to see a psychiatrist, it's like you're saying I'm mad, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So we need to individually sensitize ourselves. I know so many organizations are trying to so, do yeah. this, but it's, so it's not enough, right? Mm -hmm. So Google is your friend, search, research, your just uncle, learn <laughs> for yourself. Because it might be your child tomorrow, it might yeah. be the love of your life, it might be someone who just needs to hear the right things, right? Yeah. Okay, so before we introduce our studio guest, let's go on a very quick break. And when we come back, you find out who she is. <laughs> Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I the scene every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we feeling good. No time to die, everybody feeling alright. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal are you. Mm. Apala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi like woo. <laughs> Welcome back. Our guest on this episode is a Nigerian singer, songwriter, actress, businesswoman, television personality, and a politician who rose to prominence in 2010 as a contestant on the celebrity edition of Nigerian reality TV series, Guda Otime Search. Um, her first taste of stardom, like some would say, was when she gave us the wonderful song Kade, which became the title track of her first album in 2006. Um, she has been nominated and has won several awards with songs like like Port Harcourt is Black. Um, back. Okay, yeah, Port Harcourt is Black, African Woman, Skilashi, mm -hmm. and Jikele. Let's make welcome the pop queen, Mumaji. <laughs> is that the norm? Yeah, that's and the drum <laughs> Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Welcome. I'm yeah. going to correct just a few things. Oh, okay. okay. Um, my first album was not cutting in 2010. No, that was your single, a single from your first album. Oh, no, not that. Oh, that's okay. way back. Oh, okay. Please. In 2006. Yeah. And then you said that uh, I shot into the limelight in 2010. Mm -hmm. No, I was taking a break in 2010. <laughs> oh, yeah. I had wow. been dead, done and got the t shirt. It's been a long, long journey for me. Okay, so mm. professionally, so years, when did yeah. you start? <sighs> I started in oh, 1997. Oh, okay. Mm. It's taking us back. So some people committing suicide after yeah, 10 years. Yeah, I would love you to touch on that. Mm -hmm. It's absurd because we've been there, done a a t-shirt. Entertainment industry is not like um, luxurious kind of lifestyle where you meet or you're groomed into an already made um, investment. So you, you believe in yourself, in your creativity, and you invest in yourself. Anyway, mm. let me not talk about the show. <laughs> <laughs> have, you, have you ever been so depressed about your music career that you felt I don't to want to be this honest with you, mm. everyone in business gets depression mm. Mm. at one time or the other. So it's for you to manage it. I mean, it's a mental health where you have to help yourself. Mm. Not even a doctor can help you. No, not even a psychologist or a psychiatrist can help you. Even though they are in the picture, you need to help yourself. You know, the world is not a bed of roses where you have things planned out like this, like I'm going to have this tea in this cup, and it works out like that. Mm. So you need to go with the flow and be sensitive, be intelligent on how you handle issues. So yeah, of course, there, there has been times, times without numbers, mm. that I've been depressed. Well, I don't call it depression, but you know, that confusion just comes in and like things don't just work out the way you want. And you don't give up, you keep pushing. Mm. Yeah. 
One thing I've noticed about you is that you're a woman of many skills. Mm -hmm. You're into business, oh, you're yeah. a songwriter, you're a musician, you're, you're an actress, you TV do a TV yeah. personality, Politician. you dabbled into politics. <laughs> I mean, if Big Brother Nigeria was at the time, I'm sure she would be there. Yeah, there. Uh, <laughs> so is it did, late now for me? Yeah. You did all of that. So, um, um, off the back of what we just discussed about the um, late artist, Pele Pele, mm. do you think that any artist, actress, or any creative in Nigeria can mm. make it solely on doing what they love or what they are doing presently without yes. dabbling into yes. other things. Yes, without With the current, are you saying based on the current value of music in Nigeria or are you going to say way back as your time? No, my time wasn't even, if you find out from people like Two Face, he will tell you, it's better now than my time. Mm -hmm. My time wasn't so lucrative. I was one of those lucky ones then that was like a bridge between the old and the new. Like, like at the we, time. At the time. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, what I'm trying to say is, music wasn't paying the way it's paying now. And there are opportunities now, unlike before. So people, the youngsters now, should even see themselves lucky. Mm. As, as um, against we just doing what we love doing and not even mm. knowing where it's gonna take mm. you. Like, I was meant to be a medical doctor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then for fitting that, a sure career to a career that you're not sure was a huge risk. Mm -hmm. And business is risk. Mm -hmm. So you, you, you have to take the risk, bear it, um, hold on to your dream, mm -hmm. and see how you can push to the next level. So okay, you don't think artists need to diversify yeah. and do other things? My apart latest from song the music. is titled Double Your Hustle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Double Your Hustle categorically is to encourage people, not just the young stars, but even like the older ones to when you're into one thing to get involved in another okay. and get involved in another and another mm. like you just said i am one that has been able to share myself into different facets of life mm. i do this i do that i do that and that and it works for me at the end of the day money is coming from different perspectives mm. different, different angles different sources and then you're good to go sometimes it may not be coming and raining like heavy rain that mm. you would be expecting but i mean you have yourself loving to do this and you're doing it and it's paying off you mm. have that um you love you love doing it but it's not really paying off but you argument and okay, all of that i, I, Those challenges just, I don't want us to well. dwell on this mm. but let me just make the question specific so you can move on to other things okay so in a case of an upcoming artist like this guy who's saying that he's done 10 years and he can't go on anymore my opinion regardless of the fact that i understand mental health issues and how you can mess up your head right if he had other things mm -hmm. that he was working on and those things were at least paying the bills, don't you think it would have helped him um, stay the course regardless of how long it was going to take? Uh, depends on who you are and mm -hmm. your mental state. Mm -hmm. You may not be able to be an artist and do other things. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry to disappoint you. Mm -hmm. so, because it's very demanding. You go to the studio during the day, you work all day, in the night you have to be in the clubs to listen to the music, see what others are doing. And sometimes you may have to clock till morning. Mm. By daybreak, while people are in the office that you could go do business, you're sleeping to recover. Okay. Then when you wake up from sleep, maybe you're late to an appointment or something. But you know, to juggle through other work is really not easy. So the best you can do, or the closest you can be to doubling your hustle as a musician, is to choose an area where it's almost like or related mm. to the mu music business. Okay. So if he was doing something else like maybe fashion, for instance, that would give him the freedom and leverage to wake up at any time and go into the tailoring workshop or a, a fashion store where he sells his products, then it, I would say it's easier. I mean, I think they should be consulting me, this young <laughs> 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 That's just a comic relief. Mm -hmm. So, me? yeah, you, you have done all of these things. Mm -hmm. I mean, we are on this table saying that like, you've done all of this. How were you personally able to incorporate every other thing with music? Um, not really easy. Um, it's a tough one, but because I find myself in that shoes, I didn't plan to be that, but I'm my baby, my formation, I'm created to handle different pressures at different times. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot easier. Like I'm a mother of three now. I, in this morning I had to wake as early as four to put my, th my kids, put things together for them to go to school. Mm -hmm. I have two maids supporting me. Mm -hmm. That's a support. You pay them the salary. 
and they do their work. Yeah, that's a support, but you, as a figurehead, you have to be there to oversee things. Now, I left, came here, I'm done here, I'm going to Alios France for an event, I finish, and then I'm having one meeting or the other. It's you that can do that for you, to say, at this point in time, I have to do this. At this point in time, you have, even when you have managers managing your career as an artist, you need to manage your timing. You need to manage your mental self to be able to um, get up at the time you're supposed to get up. Mm -hmm. Like a few days back, we were traveling to if, uh, Oni of Ife. Yeah, Ife. And then on the way, we had issues. We slept on the road. The next morning, we continued the journey. Ordinarily, because we were tired from the stress and pressure at night, we, would, we had issues. I mean, the car didn't have a problem, but on the way, you know, anything could happen, mm -hmm. could have happened to the car. Anything can happen anytime. So, Normally, for a lazy person, I won't say lazy person, for a laid back per people, or group of people, because we're family. like six of us, mm -hmm. for a laid back group of people, we would say, okay, let's go back to Lagos. But we didn't give up. We still that traveled ahead mm. and made sure we achieve our aim getting to our destination. So that's the spirit. When you make up your mind to say, I'm going to be doing this, that, 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 you make yourself available to it. The guy that committed suicide, how sure are you that it was just music he was doing? Mm. But because that was his dream, to become mm. a superstar, to be up there in the faces of people and have his records in, in, in various homes, mm. every home playing his music, and he wants to be like probably Olamide or mm. probably like somebody, his protégés. But life is not like that. You can't say this works for this person, it must work for you that way. Mm. I'm sure he would have taken a rain check somehow if he was properly guarded or sometimes like I said you have to do these things yourself even though we consult we bring in consultants we consult with people to tell us how how can I take this decision will this work out well or will this be this you know um, we also have to sit back and say is this working for me because if I were in his shoes at the time I'll ask myself is this working for me mm. Mm. because from when I started as an artist I had been I've, I had always been a student and I'm still a student now mm. I've always been a student of theater arts, even though I, I missed studying uh, sciences, I mean, uh, medicine in the university. I went in for theater arts to support myself and become an authority in the dream that I'm pursuing, mm -hmm. yeah? That way, I would say to myself, okay, if I'm not performing on stage, I'm writing plays. If I'm not writing plays, I'm directing plays. If I'm not directing, I'm acting in front mm -hmm. of the screen. So you, you just spread yourself that way. Okay, let's I'm glad you mm. brought up your kids while you mm -hmm. started this talk. So that takes us to your personal life, which I was kind of trying to avoid. Be careful. <laughs> but I'm here. I'm so here. Um, your personal life, um, is it safe to say you're a single mother at the moment? Ah, whatever you say it, it depends on your interpretation. And I won't hold you hostage for anything because okay, that's so. your thinking, that's you. That's your interpretation of me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I, I will respect your view about me. So no, it's a, it's a question. Battle. That's what, what I said. How is it you see safe? How do you say it? Say? How I see myself, mm -hmm. um, well, I wouldn't like to say how I see myself, whether I'm a single mom or I'm still married or I'm mm -hmm. no longer married, but I know that I'm separated. Okay. Yeah? And I also know that I was married for six years. I was submissive. I was one of the best housewives in the world. Could ever imagine. Talking about, this, this, sorry, talking about the best housewives, uh -huh. and you've talked about how you have to juggle your um, taking care of three children and mm -hmm. everything you have to do, right? Mm -hmm. So there's an opinion that as a woman in the industry, there is enough stress already and a mm -hmm. barrier, and then the challenges of having marriage and children it affects your career sometimes negatively. Would you say this has happened to you in any way? Well, I didn't let that happen to me. Mm -hmm. Because but you I personally you gave up your career for your no, family. No, you know, like I said, when you believe in something, you go for it. Mm -hmm. I personally took a break when I wanted to get married. Mm -hmm. As soon as I, I finished the Good Art Research in 2010, that was why I was correcting her by saying mm -hmm. that 2010 was a break period for me. It wasn't when I started my career. Mm -hmm. You know, like as soon as I'd finished the Good Art Research, I said to myself, it is time to take a break for two reasons. The first reason is, I believe that there is divinity in the creation of womanhood. Mm -hmm. So it's my responsibility as a woman to partner with God to procreate. Mm -hmm. 
So what time do I have to do that as an artist who wakes up in the morning, sit down and a makeup artist rubs and rubs on my face, and then I put on my dress, I go psychedelically on the street, and I go, people, oh, Mama G, people hail you and all of that. In the night, you're in the club, you're on stage, you're all of that. What time do you have? I said to myself, okay, if I have to fulfill this part, because I want to make heaven. I want to live the way God wants woman to live, like a woman to live. And that's why I made a woman. I have to get married to have kids. I don't believe in having kids out of wedlock. And that's why people see me like I have three kids. And they wonder, are all your three kids from one man? And I go like, yes, it's from a marriage as well. It's a pro they are products of a marriage. Yeah, yeah. You know, so I had to take a break, put everything on hold. Not because I don't love my career, not because I don't want to take it to the next level, but just for the singular reason that I have to respect the word of God and give time to it. Mm. And let it grow like you brew drink and you let it ferment, you let it go through the procedure to mature, and then I could come back to my career. But unfortunately, the, next, the other partner didn't see things my way, and he had his own plans as well. Or probably it just happened that he wasn't just stable enough to stay, and mm. he left. Mm. Mm. So a little bird told me about this, your Brazilian connect and something that is brewing and something that is coming What up. is the name of the little bird? Uh, <laughs> is it called, Akeneri? Uh, Do you know Akeneri, in, uh, Akeneri, the one that talks too much? No, but I know Tweety. <laughs> <laughs> so it's Tweety that told you. Yeah, Tweety told me, so um, tell us about that. What are you working with, with the Brazilians, and what is it about? Well, you know, um, our culture is we as a people, is what unifies us as a people. And if you look at Nigeria, we have diverse, we're, we're destined and we're, we're, we're blessed with diversified multicultural background. In, in the whole of this, we have the Odudua nation. Mm. The Odudua nation has given birth to all various so many, not all, I won't say all part of Nigeria, but various tribes in Nigeria. And so like the Benin, ancient Benin kingdom migrated from Odudua. Mm. I, my tribe in River State, the Ekpe tribe, where I'm a high chief anyway, like you can see there. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'm a yes, funky high chief. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, ma'am. We'll anyway, <laughs> anyway, so um, where I come from, Ekpe tribe, the Ekpe tribe migrated from the ancient Benin, and the ancient Benin migrated from the Odudua nation. Mm. So as other various tribes do, you know, and surprisingly, we have the Odudua nation in another country called Brazil. Mm. Surprisingly. Their culture, their food, everything they do, the rituals, even to the rituals they do, is like what the Yorubas do. Not it's like, it's exactly what the Yorubas do. And so they like to, at the time or the other, trace their lineage to their motherland, which is Nigeria. So we just, a uh, group of persons, we just sat down. I have a colleague of mine um, in the system, I call him my boss because he came up, he's, he kick-started it, he kick-started everything. Um, uh, uh, Ajoyomi. 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 Oh, I owe you one, but yeah. we have him on the table. Yeah. Ajoyomi just said to me, this is what's on ground. You know, the Brazilians are crazy about coming to Nigeria. And me being the wizard in creativity, I'm like, oh, that's great. We can have this done, linking the Brazilians and the Nigerians under One. my program, Cultural Rocks. And they said, ah, yeah, we've been on this since Momaji. This is a great do. Let's do it. And then Ojeromi has all it takes to link up the Brazilian government, which he has already done. Mm. And then on this side of it, we have the owner of Ife, mm. who is, I would say, in spiritual terms, the physical body of the descendancy of Odudua. Mm. Mm. Okay, because of time, though, when is this happening? Ah, well, we are working towards November. Okay. There is, um, I won't say much about it, but mm -hmm. um, there is this um, Black um, History Month, mm -hmm. Black yeah. History Month, okay. coming up in November, so in Brazil. We're going to be moving in, in the entourage of the Oni of Ife to Brazil. Oh, and cool. we're going to do like a cultural exchange between mm. Nigeria and 
to Brazil. Okay. Wow. We hope to have you. But we and hopefully, we have to find, I know we, we have to go, but finally, you there. know what? Hopefully there's we'll something, there's there's something that always nice. happens on this table, and I'm sure people have missed your voice, even though you dropped the brand new um, song in January. So can you just sing us out of the show, please? Okay, that will okay. be after my wrap-up, though. Ah. <laughs> That's exactly how wrap up this episode. You can join the conversation as usual on social media by using the hashtag Tea Time or Twitter to us at Plus TV Africa. My thank you, as always, to go to my co-anchors, Ife Oluwa Oshuke, mm -hmm. and um, Chika Mwewo, and the entire production team, and of course, our studio guest, Mumaji. Thank you so much for being here. Oh. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching, and over to Mumaji. Oh. Sing us. And, and I say, I tell you, make you double your hustle. Come on, double, double your hustle. I say, make you double your hustle. Hey, double your hustle. I say, make you double your hustle. Double your hustle. If the guy.